What do you think the challenge is that women are having, black women in particular, mm -hmm. when it comes to becoming a wife? Keeping it 100? Yes. There's not enough eligible black males who fit the needs of black women. Mm. By the time you dissect the demographics of finances, sexual orientation, uh, what you end up drilling down into, because black women tend to want to marry black men. Right, right. So black women are excelling. They're getting accelerated degrees, graduate degrees, doctorate degrees. They're starting businesses. Black women are running circles around men. Right. And it's also shown in research that women want to marry on their same level of financial and educational status. Yeah. So if you're a black woman making $150,000 a year with a master's degree, you tend to want to marry a black man on that same level or higher. If black women are excelling at such an accelerated rate, mm -hmm. how do men keep up with that? A few moments later. Trying to be a girl's girl through and through, but have y'all seen the videos circulating on TikTok where the women pop their balloon for the men that they don't want? Some of these women are popping their balloons because they don't like the man's name. They don't like the man's name, like he picked it, or his shoes. Or they'll be like, I just don't like the shirt you're wearing. At least tell him he's unattractive. Are you kidding me right now? There's no way. You can change all that. He could change all that. You're talking about this man's got a job as an, uh, a software engineer and he's seven to 10 years into this firm and he's making six figures and he wants a house and a family and a wife and he doesn't want his wife to have a work if she doesn't want to, but she's talking about, I don't like his shoes. Y'all gotta do better. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. You know what? To be completely honest, you do you. Just just save me one of them, okay? <laughs> that is insane. And Lex, why did you end up popping your balloon? Because he's not my type. Like, just physically, he's not my type. Mm -hmm. Okay, so physically, what is your usual type? Physically? Um, what is it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting it. Um, more, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Say it, say it, say it. Physically, he's not your type. What do you mean by that? Goofy? Say it. Let me tell you. you can't tell us. Just like the energy, possibly. Oh, okay. So at first he wasn't your type, but now it's the energy. Okay. Or whatever. You said physically, though. Yeah. Exactly. Like, Press it. Physically, your energy is not matching. Not but I do like that you. Go you were able to feel his energy after stepping in the room for two seconds. Really? It's his energy. It's his energy. Shut up. Yeah, somebody needs to send Kendra G and Rebecca Lynn Pope clips of this damn pop the balloon show because it's crazy. Let's keep it moving. What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Ron, back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. So I got a video for you guys from the Pop the Balloon show again. But before I get into that, I found the very interesting because one of those clips that I, that I recently just showed you guys actually came from the same group of women that got into it with the brother that went viral for checking all them ladies and saying that they weren't qualified. Because while the one black lady in the black dress was disqualifying the brother, you know, it was another chick that mentioned, oh, yeah, he's not my type physically. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you hear another woman pop the balloon which in, in, that goes to show you the high mindset that, that they have. And for her to be over here and laugh like, oh, oh yeah, I, I, I didn't see that coming. But y'all felt the way about that brother and y'all over here getting him fired from his job. I tell you, man, the, the hypocrisy. But anyway, on to this clip that I'm going to show you guys because I found this very interesting. The woman apparently... Uh, was recognized by one of the contestants on the show and here's what happened check this out what's your name tyra tyra how old are you i'm 31 31 okay and what do you do i'm an admin assistant for an hvac company okay. and i also do personal assistant nice nice and now what are some deal breakers they have to like dogs dogs yes okay <laughs> um and 
deal breaker, you have to have open communication. If you don't have open communication, you're trustworthy. Then oh my God. God. Okay. All right. So we did get a pop balloon over here. Yes. So let's go on over here. If we can Hello, have your sir. name and age. My name is Kim. I'm 27. What's up, Tyra? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, yeah, so I popped the balloon because honestly, like I was supposed to go to lunch with her like last week, but she ain't hit your boy back. So I mean, oh. I mean, like on to the next, like, but she's, she's she's like a winner. Like she she cool. We've been knowing each other. She cool. You know what I mean, but that's why. Yeah. Okay. Bruh. All right. So that's what I'm talking about. Tyra, you. <laughs> <laughs> why did you hit him back? What's going on? Honestly, it was a busy day, mm. and as you know. I have a job and a business, right. so the communication wasn't there. And I was gonna say that too. Exactly, you, you said it was communication. The communication breaker, wasn't there. You ain't even hit your boy back. Yeah, yeah but I didn't feel it's like it's all good. Let's go over here if we can have your name and age. So I'm Day John. I'm 30. Okay, Day John. Why did we end up popping our balloon? She is so gorgeous, but like my man said, the communication part. You start off with open communication. Mm -hmm. I love that. I need communication in my life. I love the communication. But when you say you didn't hit him back. If, I, if I'm busy, I'm going to make time enough to say I can't make it, or I can't show up, You're or I'm right. going to give you a good excuse, you know what I'm saying? But A good excuse. Other than that, that's one reason why. Absolutely. Okay. Now, is Dejan someone that's your type? No. Okay, why not? Um, He too light. Oh, my God, bro. I'm that's sorry. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Hey, but your styles. No, I appreciate it's you, though. Fine. Yeah, like you're gorgeous, yeah, too. You know. I thank you. I appreciate you. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's go over here. Yo, one of these days, I'm going to have to just search and find this uh, this show on YouTube. Because I think they got a YouTube channel as well. That is funny, bro. Did you hear all of the balloons that pop once that she mentioned that she did not hit him back? And she gave that lame ass excuse. Like, damn, did she have any? <laughs> Do women have any options left? Like, did she though? Did she have any options left after that? Jeez, it seemed like every man up, because I think they only have about six or seven contestants. And I know I heard about a good four or five at least pop after. <laughs> and it's funny because she said, one of her, the biggest things that she looked for is open communication, but you couldn't even have the communication to tell this man that, hey, I can't make it, or hey, I'm no longer interested. That's all it would have took. Oh my goodness, man. The hypocrisy. Let's keep it moving. Now, fellas, this one's for you. She's not that interested in you if she takes 17, 24, 26 hours to get back to you. She got that phone glued to her goddamn hip. Even if she is the busiest girl in the world, she's not that interested in you. Saves the weekends for just her friends and not you and puts you on a Tuesday, Wednesday, and every week she goes out with her friends Saturday, Sunday. She ain't that interested in you. You just decide, dude, you ain't that important to her. Ooh, if she doesn't bring you around her friends, if you've never met her friends, she might be embarrassed to even bring you around. She's not proud to have you by her side. Oof, she's not that interested. She never asks to see you? No. No, she's not that interested. I don't care what kind of role she thinks she's playing. She's not that interested. Last but not least, if she doesn't put any money down on you, if she doesn't buy you a coffee, if she doesn't get you a water, if she puts zero pennies and dimes down on you, she's not that interested in you. Because women that are interested in a guy have no problem doing this and doing things that they, that they know their guy is going to appreciate and like. If she's not doing that, Take the L out of lover, it's over. She ain't interested. Yeah, I say all the time, the easiest way to tell if a woman is really into you or really likes you is if she's willing to spend her money on you because most women don't want to come out of pocket for men. But I really want to chime in on the part when uh, he said, you know, she takes forever to reach back to you or get a hold of you or even reach out to you first. Because notice the woman that got embarrassed for not hitting that brother back Notice how she wanted to sit over here and say it was a busy day. That's bullshit. Because women are attached to their phone far more than men are. And women will never accept the, oh, he's too busy excuse. Because women have the mentality of, 
if he wanted to, he would. Meaning, no matter how busy he is, he would make time for me that at least hit me back. Because when the brother, the next brother that she asked, he said, you know, I'm a busy person as well. But, you know, I would at least take the time to text you back and say, hey, you know what? If, you know, we can't do it or give you some reason or excuse. But notice how she had to say it, it was just a busy day. Bullshit. Because you wouldn't, because you would not accept that if it was coming from a man. This is this is the type of shit that I talk about on this channel, you guys, man. Women do not want to give you the same grace that they expect to get from men. And the moment you realize you're dealing with that kind of woman, you gotta see it as a red flag and keep it moving. Speaking of which, sometimes men disappear because they feel like their effort is not being reciprocated. Talk about it. So hear me out. Uh -oh. A lot of women feel like their approach to dating is you as a man have to prove to me you are worthy of my time, my energy, and me being more vulnerable to you. And because of what you've been through, you think that's the right way to do it. But unfortunately, when you're dealing with a man who's actually serious and he's seeing you're holding back, you got walls up, he has concerns that you're wasting his time. So now he falls off because he's like, all right, she's tripping. She's not really making any effort. But because there's still a desire there, because he still likes her, I think the comment, the like, is a temperature check. Let me see how she'll respond. Let me see if I can still reignite something here. But it all stemmed from, are we actually making a mutual effort to get to know each other? Okay. So just make sure, before you start throwing all kinds of accusations at the man, Ask yourself, was I coming correct in this process or Cook not? Cook up, sir. Yeah, this actually just happened to me not too long ago. Um, my last time out here in Thailand, I was dating a woman. If you've um, been watching my travel vlog, you'll see my time during, especially Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai, and a little bit prior to that, and coming back. Um, there, there's a part of time where you pretty much see me with the same chick and that's who I'm referring to. And eventually I had to cut her off for the exact same reason that that brother mentioned, man. The reciprocation was just not there. And, or as the kids like to say, the reciprocation wasn't reciprocating. <laughs> so, you know, along, so I had to cut her off and I have, my tolerance has become very short. Um, now that I understand women a lot more and guys the unfortunate reality is that you have to have short tolerance nowadays when it comes to the women because women feel like they have so many options even though they really don't that you have to treat them that way in order for them to understand like hey you know this man has options too and even if he doesn't have options he would rather be alone than deal with me so that says more about his character more so than it does her. Remember that, fellas. Let's keep it moving. So last night I ended things with a guy that in one of my previous videos I had referred to as the most intentional man Here I've ever go. spoken to. And it's just really a shame because he really is a great guy and I wish that I could just make myself have feelings, but I just can't. And he's so great. I didn't want to just keep stringing him along because he had voiced that you know, he's looking for a relationship and he made it very clear how he felt about me. And I just felt really badly about making it go on any longer when I just knew it wasn't there for me. And it really just got me to thinking because usually we talk about how... When At this point, it's just fucking straight up comedy, man. You know, I've, I've seen video after video. I left a nice guy. I just He was so intentional and he was so nice. He was so great. I had to leave him. These are the same kind of chicks that are going to be... 45 years old with their cats. I'm telling you guys right now, you have to look at these things as blessings. I have so many men message me all the time, like, Al, like, I was so nice, I was so respectful, I was so caring, and she didn't want me. Great. That, I, I'm happy for you because that means that you're finally able to go meet the right one. That's it. These men out here will sit and ball their fucking eyes. Oh, she left me. <laughs> Move on. Good. It's a blessing. It's, it, it's just dodged a red flag, homie. You dodged a straight up bullet that was flying at your fucking face. Now you can move on, go to the gym, get closer to God, work on yourself, improve yourself as a man. That's where improvement starts, homie. Take the pain and use it to fucking motivate you. You don't want a chick like this, I promise you right now. Too many of you are just so fucking lonely, 
So, so you got to sometimes embrace that loneliness, homie. That's what you got to do. You got to embrace the fucking fact that you're alone and move on. And let me know what y'all think about that as well, because I'm going to be speaking more on this topic in the future. Uh, but if you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.